Hey everybody, it's your Deacon in Training, Mark here. I wanted to share a quick reflection on this weekend's readings with you. So the readings for this weekend can provide an important insight into how we as members of the church are to treat each other and to care for one another. You know, there's a theme in the first two readings from the prophet Ezekiel and Paul's letter to the Romans that when combined, we can say, the church consists of a loving watchman. Because we love God, we love others, and therefore, we try to persuade others from the harmful destruction of sin. I think that's what Jesus is talking about in the Gospel this Sunday. This can be difficult for us to do sometimes because we are turned away when we, are, when we try to fulfill the teachings of Jesus to engage in the spiritual work of mercy, admonishing the sinner. Have you ever thought or even heard from others that you should just mind your own business and not say anything? So not to ruffle any feathers? Live and let live, they say. Well, brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us today that it is our business to engage in fraternal correction because God has entrusted us to one another. One of the greatest saints of our age, Pope St. John Paul II stated this, the God of the covenant has entrusted the life of every individual to his or her fellow human being. Isn't this what love God and love your neighbor, the greatest of the commandments means? To love your neighbor enough to let them know that they have stepped off the path towards heaven? You know, if we believe that within the church there is a mystical communion in grace and the sins of the individual harm the entire body of Christ, then fraternal correction is necessary. Genuine love for others implies this willingness to correct them, and if necessary, to accept correction from them as well. Brothers and sisters, have confidence to be loving watchmen of our community. Peace be with you, and please continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you.